Hello and welcome to Kalabach. This is episode 7. We're in the morning of, or well, the early part of May, and we've woken up to a beautiful day. We're just going to check out our contracts that are available. Oh, meager pickings. Meager, pick, meager pickings indeed. We'll do both of them. So, both weeding contracts. Very small income, but it'll keep us busy. And it's money coming in. So we'll get those sorted out. I think we'll use the farm wall to, to do this job. Whoops, who left the door open last night? Most probably me. <laughs> get that sorted out. Let's get the farm, get the weed on, and go and get those contracts started. And then we'll come back and have a look at the eggs, the eggs are, we've got just about a full pallet of eggs, which probably won't have, oh, we have close to a full pallet, um, by the time we've got this all sorted out, let's just have a look and see where, field 7, we've worked that field plenty of times, field 6, I'm not sure whether we've done before, I think we have, but we'll, um, We'll see when we get down here. I think we did it in the last episode. We may have cultivated it. I can't remember. But in any case, definitely know we've done a lot of work on field 7. We've harvested... Um, at least we've at least harvested in this field, but I'm sure we did another contract as well. I mean, we are doing so many contracts now. Not always sure exactly which <laughs> which fields we've worked on, but we do seem to be working on the same fields a lot, so it looks like we're looking, working for certain customers. In any case, we'll get this started and we'll just do the headlands ourselves. We don't have a lot of work to do so this month, so maybe we'll do a little bit more work ourselves. Just finished the headlands and uh, I'm struggling to see exactly where the weeds are, so I've plotted a course for a worker to do. I'm going to set them off and then we'll have a look at see how they're doing. Also, I do like to keep the keep some jobs for the workers. At the end of the day, we don't we don't pay for it ourselves. So yeah, let's keep them keep them busy and keep the mayor happy so that we can continue building our A living museum, I, th I suppose you'd want to call it that, because most of the pieces of equipment that we buy will be utilised at least once, some won't, and occasionally we might buy something just because it's old, <laughs> uh, and we've got a place to display it. Formal's looking good, it does work well. gives us a nice opportunity to look around and taking the background scenery on this lovely map as well. Really, really enjoying this map. I do like it for this type of small scale farm. It's a nice small map. It's relatively quick to get around. And, I mean, you can. You can try with big equipment and I'm sure you could join the fields together and make it worthwhile but there are going to be some tight spots particularly when it comes to delivering as we'll see a little bit later when we try to deliver our eggs because I'm sure they're going to go to one of the slightly tighter spots to find <laughs> for delivery well you know, I still think there's probably places you can you can get to but um, you might not always get the best, best price there, but still. Yeah, the weed is probably not the oldest piece of equipment we've had. Well, it's just about finished, the contractor. Well, not the contractor, the worker. And the contract is finished, but I think there's just a couple of little spots that we need to clear off can't at the moment see any weeds sticking out. It's, it's been very difficult to see the weeds in this field. 
you know more history than us. So it's probably something we've missed, but we've missed. But um, we've got the bulk of them because the contract has been completed. There we go. So let's get on down to field six now, and I'll get that started as well, and then get that onto work, and then we'll go and see about our eggs. They should be just about full by the time we've done that. Well, the pellet should be just about full. the horse farm just on the right hand side there and I don't think we've been up this way before through this little forest very windy twisty section of road I think the last time we worked on field six we came through the bottom and drove up the side of the uh, grass field if I remember correctly but this should be the way to actually get to the proper entrance. Uh, it's not that one, it's on the other side of the road. Yeah, we should just double back on ourselves. And there we can see the twisty route that we've taken. We can see the road we came up just down to the left, just past there. And the entrance to field six should just be here. Yeah, and we have worked this field before, but we came in from the bottom drove up past the, I think there's a grass field just next to this. This is good going. So we'll do the headlands here and then uh, we'll get a work on to do some up and down, as they say. Oh, the money's just come in from the council for the workers for the last month. It's nice, 248 dollars or euros should I say right let's just get this sorted out see it's so much easier to see the weeds in this field just speeding it up a little bit so that the thing with doing a contracting job is we do do a lot of the same jobs but I do like to show the jobs that we've done and do them either on time lapses or starts, jump cuts to ends, that type of thing, you know, just so that you can see where the money is coming in. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, maybe three passes just down at the bottom, a couple of passes at the top. And then we'll uh, get our trusty worker to come down take over and finish it off for us. We'll skedaddle back on up to the up to the farm and go and see who wants to buy some eggs. Pretty sure there'll be no shortage of of buyers. Depends who's gonna give us the best price. Do a couple of passes along the top here. Should we do one more? Yeah, I think so. I'll set him off from the top from the top here. It's quite a, a little steep incline there, so it does make sense to send them working up and, up and down in that direction. Right, so we've got just about a full pallet, I think it's 995. It's probably by the time we've loaded it, it will be full. Um, I'm just going to load up the little pallet lifter. Oh, I should possibly have used the uh, the messy for this, it's a little bit more manoeuvrable in here. This big old Fiat has not got a great turning circle at all. I think I might have mentioned it, but it's got the grunt, that's what I like. 
He likes things with a bit of grunt. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, we're buying quite a few pieces of little equipment and uh, um, so we are growing that way. Um, we've got to start thinking about uh, getting enough money to, get, to start buying little bits of the other sort of farm areas, if you want to call it that. The pig, the pig farm, the cow farm eventually, horse farm as well, I suppose. Right, let's, let's just go and have a look and see how much have we got. Yeah, 995, we'll just pull it out. It'll be easier to load. Drag it out. Careful not to break the eggs. There we go. Drop it off there. Right, let's get these loaded. Jump back into the Fiat. And I think we can put a front loader on this Fiat, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe we can put that down as one of our future um, purchases. As a, I don't know whether we'll be able to get anything vintage in the front loader stakes, but still, we'll see how this works. Well, we can see that it's a... It's moving around a bit, but that's not too much of a problem. Not as easy to move, is it? Yeah, it picks it up easy enough. It's good enough. Lift it up so it doesn't fall off. Let's go for go. Well, it doesn't really look good, but it's doing the job. And we definitely went in down the bottom of that, so let's just try again. Yeah, you see it does go in the bottom and then when you lift it, it it's not, it's probably just a problem with the actual mod itself. It's not serious, it's working. And let's see where we can get a decent price. So the corner shop. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, you can deliver to places where it will be very easy to deliver, but look at the difference in price. It's nearly nearly a thousand euros difference for a, a um, for a thousand liters. Yeah. The corner shop I think is up at the top here. I have put a marker on it. Yeah, I can see it's right over there. So I think it's in a, in amongst the buildings. It's one of those that we'll have to deliver pretty much a pellet at a time in it. Um, maybe a couple of pellets of stuff at a time to it. But I'm sure it's going to be one of the places that pays us reasonable money. Uh, how do we get there? Um, do we have to go down the bottom? I think I'll try to go down this track first. It does seem a little bit unusual that you need to go down the farm track to get to the corner shop. But still... Yeah, there we go. That's way in. Yeah, I can't see much of it. Another way in. I'm sure we'll find it. Sorry, lady. It's a potential customer at the shop. Yep, yeah, so it's right here on the right hand side. we're going to make for that. Should be close to 3,000. Yeah, 3,007, yeah. So we were just under a um, thousand litres of eggs. Or a thousand eggs, whichever way you want to look at it. Well, this lady's very insistent that I get out of here. <laughs> so she should be. I think uh, 
deliveries around there. Maybe that that'll be a lot of the job for perhaps a little messy. Should be able to get around here a little bit easier. I think we'll stick with this little pallet fork here. It depends on how much we have to deliver. something that interest piqued my interest on the left hand side here we'll come and have a look at that hmm that's interesting let's get this back first and uh, then we'll uh, worry well, not worry about that come back and have a look at it There we go, back home, go and drop this off. I think we've still got, I think we've got a, we've got a big bag lifter in here. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't used that before, so. We'll have a look and see. We might of course eventually get uh, some slightly less vintage tractors that will have um, three point uh, connections on the front but um, we'll just see as we go through. They are going to be much more expensive. We'll just park this up I think. And then we'll just pop up and go and have a look at the thing that I found quite interesting. Hope you'll find it interesting too. <laughs> but I think it might be, might be if it's, if it's cheap enough, it'll be good. So we go straight out here and we'll just take a walk up where we've just come back from really. Morning. And around the corner here. And there's this little vegetable garden. It seems to have been allowed to go to rack and ruin. And I think if we can get it get it for a decent price, um we can buy it. It fits in kind of with our ethos. We're not buying big fields, but um this is yeah, it's only, it's only it's less than 2,500 euros. It's probably the cheapest field I've ever bought. It's probably the smallest I've ever bought as well, but yeah, we'll, we'll get that. Oh, it looks like, looks like we may have some product in it because the stuff is showing up as growing. So there might be water already in there. What do we need? Seeds, yeah, so these seeds, 2,000 litres seeds. So that's a bargain. Manure, that's a bargain, and water. I mean, they're not hugely expensive inputs, but... Right, so that means we need a water tanker now, because we're going to have to fill this up. I mean, it's definitely going to be used, utilizing a lot more water. We'll keep it just producing everything that it's got here for now. It'll be slow, slow, slow production, but... Uh, yeah, I would imagine we get strawberries just about every month. Lettuce maybe every other month. Tomatoes. Yeah. That's cool. So we have our first land purchase. Fantastic. Well, let's go and have a look and see if we can find some... Some water tankers to bring some water in. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So the wood water tanker, wood w water trailer, that's interesting. But I think we'll go for this one. We did actually buy the wood one as well, but it didn't work. So that's going to go straight into the museum. And we'll, I'll, I'll show you where we've parked it up a little bit later. 
but I'm kind of glad because this is this is a little bit easier to man manoeuvre. 1700, it's not the cheapest. There it is there. And there's the wood tank, the wood, the wood one just attached behind there. We'll go and park that up somewhere. I'm going to put this onto the Massey just to, it's pretty tight around there. Yeah, we did try to put water into the uh, to the wood water trailer, and it just wouldn't uh, wouldn't hold it. So um, I mean, it is old. We've put in a couple of taps up at the. Um, A bit of vegetable patch, I think we'll call it that. It's pretty much what it is, is a vegetable allotment. Those in the UK will know about vegetable allotments. Don't know whether anybody outside the UK would know about them. Yeah, we've got a couple of taps in there. It was also a little bit of a mistake on my part there when I put the taps in the, um, the one with the green hose pipe is actually <laughs> for uh, is actually a pressure hose for cleaning vehicles. I'm sure it said for cleaning and filling, but um, it doesn't seem to fill the tanker. So I've just put uh, Omatana's little water pump there. It's black, so it's fairly inconspicuous, just so that. It actually feeds water into the tankers, so a little bit of a a cheat. If it, well, it's not a cheat; it's just a little bit of a workaround. That's what we'll call it. I do like the look of that tap in there, though. And also, we'll be, be able to come up and clean our vehicles there as well. I think we'll put a quite a bit of water in there so that we don't have to come back every day and fill up. This tank only has a 2,000 litre capacity, so we'll just do my old trick of load and fill, load and fill, or fill and, fill and deliver, fill and deliver. <laughs> um, it does work really well with that uh, Omotana pump. Alright, so let's go and see how much we put in. Did do it for quite a while. Yeah, so we've got, what, 30, 30, 30, 32,000 litres of water in there. I think the seed in that should last a fair amount of time. So that's good, I think. Right, let's get this parked up. I think we'll just get it parked up next to... Well, yeah, just next to the allotment here, I think. That's part of our land. And there's a little part at the back of the land here, those little, those bushes on, that's also part of ours. So we might be able to clear that and uh, utilize that for some displays as well. But we'll see. But, you know, we want to uh, We'll take down the bushes and maybe put a couple of trees up and make it look nice. And in keeping with the surroundings as such. There we go. That's that parked up. Right, so let's get back to the to the farm, park this up and uh, I do believe our worker has finished with the with weeding the last field. So we'll go and get that picked up and brought back as well. So there you can see the wooden water trailer. We'll go and find a place for that to park. I think we'll just park it up outside the the gate.
the mayor of the town and town council has said we can park things as long as they're not obstructing the roads. It's the old Fiat no turning circle problem. I think we'll just pop it down here. Just along the side of the road. You won't put it so that it interferes with the view of any of the I think that's good enough. It's a nice little feature for people to see as they walk by. We may we may, may move it. Let's get this all parked up now. I don't think there's much else we can do today now. Don't have any more contracts. We've uh, spent a bit of money, pretty much spent all the money that we've made. We've got a little bit more money to come back in. Got about just under a thousand to come in from the contract, so we'll get that sorted out. Always good to have the uh, equipment all put away so people know more or less where to go and well to be honest I do change the tractors around a little bit I was gonna say I'll have everything so people know exactly where they are but yeah he's finished let's get this back to the to the farm And I think that's pretty much it for this episode, yeah. It's actually been fairly eventful for a episode that started with me just thinking, well, we've got two little weeding contracts and that's it. This is going to be a five-minute episode. <laughs> a five-minute month. But yeah, we, we will have some of those, but uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Just trundle along back up to the farm. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed the new equipment that we've purchased and the new little bit of land that we've got. Hopefully we'll be able to start making some money for some vegetables. And hopefully we'll be able to just deliver it around the corner for a good price to the corner shop. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!